Hello friends, welcome back to Earth Vimarsh. Now, uh, in case of the cardinal utility, as we know that here the magnitude is playing a significant role, right? And uh, considering the same uh, preference ordering like uh, we had in the previous case, that your, your preferences are such that uh, your X bundle is preferred more over Y and your Y bundle is preferred more over Z. Okay, so this is something which is already given. Uh, let's assume, okay. Now given this, that you are already clear that your X is going to be greater than Y and Y is going to be greater than say Z, right? And the ordinal approach already told us that your X will be ranked one, right? And Y will be ranked two and Z will be ranked three based on the ordinal approach, right? So uh, even if we try to explain in terms of magnitude now say for example uh, if i may say that uh, your x is preferred over y so i accord a value of uh, 20 in terms of magnitude to the utility derived from x okay so uh, 20 then uh, for y it's uh, a little less say for example 15 and for this it's 10 now doesn't matter if it's uh, i mean uh, it's it, it hardly matters that you have either 20 or 40 i mean for the first case for x or 10 or 15 or 16 or 18 maybe for y or any amount for z as well what matters here is that the preference ordering relation which is already given to us right that should hold now because your simple ordinal approach is also ensuring that thing so for the simplicity in explanation uh, in the subsequent section as well uh, we'll be going on with the ordinal approach okay so uh, we will be following we will be following ordinal framework of utility all right so uh, please uh, keep a note of this that we are going to have this approach okay that how to rank the preferences uh, we are going to keep focus on this when we are going to discuss uh, in the subsequent sections with the same concept now uh, in addition to this what we have discussed so far i would just like to highlight again that how we were defining the utility function so basically uh, it was a way to assign number to every possible consumption bundle okay uh, say for example we had these three consumption bundles here that is x y and z right so these were our three consumption bundles uh, let me just highlight here also so x y and z x y and z are the consumption bundles right so uh, likewise uh, it's a way to assign number to every possible consumption bundle in such a way that the most preferred bundle now if you observe in the example what was our most preferred bundle that was x right your x was the most preferred bundle from this given set of relation we were getting that x is preferred over y is preferred over z right so this was the most preferred bundle x gets a greater number than less preferred bundle or if in case of three bundles uh, same should hold right simultaneously like we took in this example that your x should be accorded a greater value or a greater rank than y and likewise for y it should be higher than that of z so this is how it works now let's move to the concept of what we try to define is as monotonic transformation now you will be going to encounter this time and again uh, when you are dealing with the graphical analysis uh, particularly of the utility function or uh, even the comparative statics when you are trying to do so uh, how do we explain monotonic transformation now uh, to simply define okay what is monotonic transformation so actually we are transforming something here right so what is being transformed is basically the utility function only right 
So uh, if u of x1, x2, so this is a function which is having these two commodities. So if utility function of the form uh, having two commodities, say x1 and x2, represents a way to assign utility numbers to the bundles x1 and x2, okay, then if we are multiplying this bundle, this function u of x1, x2 by any scalar, say for example by 2, or if you are increasing this uh, bundle by 4 times, okay, uh, this bundle, so uh, or any other positive number, so it's just as good a way to assign utilities because uh, say for example uh, multiplication by 2 in this uh, case, so if you are uh, multiplying it by 2 times uh, u of x1 x2 right uh, still uh, what it's essentially trying to focus on is that the utility which is going to be there okay the preference ordering it's going to remain same this is what is it it's essentially trying to uh, highlight here okay so this is what it uh, implies that monotonic transformation will keep your preference ordering intact okay so i'll just mention it here uh, keeps your preference ordering intact okay so this is what we uh, mean by the monotonic transformation now uh, in the next slide i'll be following up with the subsequent discussion on monotonic transformation with reference to the utility function